Hi all, welcome to my channel, I'm Matt, this is Matt's Mod, and I would just like to say a Happy New Year to everybody. Let's hope 2022 is going to be a lot better than 2020, 2021, yeah, not great them years. Right, so, first build of the year, we have finally, finally received issue 59 of the Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. Now, I've been waiting a long time on this issue. Um, basically, some for some reason it's called a rare issue. I don't know why that is with the parts that you get. Um, but this is a major issue. Uh, this is more or less we're going back to when we did all the little wires on the dashboard because we've got so much to do in this magazine. It, it yeah, it took me ages to sort out the instructions for. But what we're basically going to be doing today, we're going to be finishing off the interior of the vehicle. Um, we're going to be putting all wire connections onto the circuit board. We've got other bits and pieces to do. We've got an absolute ton. But with this issue complete, I can get onto some really, really fun stuff. So first one I can get onto is I can get onto the flux capacitor mod. I can get onto the Xmas tree mod. I can get onto the power mod. I can get onto oh the remote mod. Um, and there's absolutely, absolutely loads of stuff I can do after doing this issue. So that's why I've been waiting on it for so long. But this is probably going to be a bit of a long one. So I put the kettle on, get a brew, and let's do issue 59 of Build the DeLorean. So with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, let's get started. So... The first thing we need to do is we need to bring back over the rear uh, bulkhead upper. And first of all, we've got this part here. And basically, we're going to be putting it into the hole just up here. But we need to thread it down next to the um, whatever it is. So we'll do that and then we'll pop it into place. I thought I might need my tweezers with this one, so we'll um, get the tweezers out. This is just a push fit connection. It really doesn't want to go in. It will do. Come on. Right, okay, this is uh, turning out to be a little bit problematic, but it's... Right, that's in. Okay, so that is step one done. It's not in all the way, there's not as much as I like it, so let's just try and... There we go. Okay, so we've got that piping. Right, next what we need to do, just put the bulkhead aside for a second. We've got this longish pipe here, and then we've got these two sort of purple details just there, and it wants us to slide them onto this pipe. So we'll do that. I don't think I'm going to need my tweezers with this one. Right, okay, that's that one on. It says to have it roughly down about three centimetres, but I don't think it's going to bother looking at the next step. Right, okay. So, what we need to do now is, let's double check. Right, so we've done that. Yeah, three and four. Next, we need to bring the bulkhead across because we're putting these purple connectors in the, under here, just under this, um, whatever it is. I might have thought it might have been easier to put this on first, maybe, but we'll do it as per the instructions. Okay, that's in. Right, so what we need to do next, right, let's just double check we're doing this right. Okay, so we need what I would call the hairdryer. 
probably not a hair dryer but i would call that a hair dryer uh, we've got a shorter black one to put on and that's just going to simply slot on just like that next we're going to we're going to put this onto the bulkhead that's just going to go there but we do need to screw it in from behind just double checking how this yeah okay we need to screw this in from behind with some ap screws and we need two of them so i've got them ready i've got my new tool that i got for christmas which is a wow stick so this is the first time i'm using this so bear with me first one in okay that's pretty good okay now we've done that next what we need to do is we've done that with the AP screws right so this pipe's coming down here and it's going to go into uh, da, 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 da. it's going to go into one of these notches just down here probably going to need tweezers for this one I've got two notches now it doesn't say which notch to put it into let's have a look push the perfect bulkhead into position as shown no it doesn't say which notch to actually put it on but i'm just looking further ahead and it is the first one so it is the one nearest to the uh, hair dryer, as I would say it. Um, okay, right, so next what we need to do is we need to bring this one that we've uh, put in previously. And does it go in any specific way? It doesn't look like it. Uh, let's just double check. I'm just going to go ahead of the instructions um it does look like it's got to go around something but it's not very clear so but what we need to do is we need to bring it round i can always correct it later and we need to put it into the far side of the uh the hair dryer don't know if that's what it's called but that's what i'm calling it okay right so that was step nine right step 10 is we need to turn it over and we've got um, two green LEDs here. They are going to be going into these two holes here. And they're just going to be pushed in. Just like that. Uh, doesn't say anything about bending the wires, but I think that might be just a good rule of thumb anyway. Just being careful. Okay, so we've got that in place. And then what we've got next is we need an AP screw and we've got a wire holder and we basically need to pass the wire underneath this point here put the wire tidy on in fact I'm going to get my screwdriver loaded up for this one I have got my wires to hand just in case I need them because I know there might be some parts in here where I might find using the new stick a little bit difficult okay so pass the wire underneath pop that onto it okay get your screwdriver at the ready do the hole there we go and that's in place okay right next we need the interior of the car been on display for so long because what we need to do next is we've got a pipe that's um it's this pipe here now this wants to go onto the bulkhead now i've got a sneaky suspicion that pipe is probably going to come out with everything we need to do on it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bob a bit of glue onto the uh, end and then we'll get that pipe attached right got some glue out 
didn't want to come out then for a second. Okay, so what I'm going to just do is get some glue, just sort of put it on the end of the pipe. Offer this up. I'm just going to try and pull that pipe a little bit closer to me. Try and get it in without. Oh god, this is going to be difficult. Right. right I'm just going to leave that pipe there for a second while it stays on. Okay. Right, so that should have done by now. Right, so we've now got all that in place. What we need to do next is we're going to need to offer this up to the bulkhead, but making sure we don't trap any of the wires. Oh gosh. Okay, I don't think I've got anything trapped there at all. Okay, so that's step 13. Next, we need to then screw this bulkhead on with four FP screws. Okay, so I've got my FPs. Now, I think this is going to be the hardest bit of this bit is going to be screwing this on, well, holding the bulkhead in place while screwing it on. Got two screws attached there. Right, so let me get an FP screw ready. Again, I've got nothing trapped. Right, I'm going to try and turn this on its side and screw it in. I knew that happened. It happens every time for me. I get a screw lined up, ready to go. And that happens. Um, right, I'm going to get my wearer while I position this. That just had to be done with the wearer. Right, sorry, I am absolutely sweating because uh, central heating is on and I'm sweltering. Right, so, oh, that's not even on. No wonder I didn't feel much resistance. Right, try this mag one. Right, that's on. What I need to do now is I'm going to do the other side. This one probably going to need wear a screwdriver because. Uh, Yeah, that's going to be a little bit tricky to get that uh, wow stick in place because of the circuit board. Sorry guys, I can't see what I'm doing here. I do apologise. Right, now that bulkhead's in place, I can now just sort of flip it like that and get the last two FP screws in. Right, okay, and the final FP, and then what I'm just going to go around with the wearer and just make sure everything's buttoned up nicely. Right, okay. Okay, that's one. That's two. three and that's four okay right flipping this back over we now move on to step 15 which involves this pipe here that needs to go well, into the back of the bulkhead
and then that's going to be screwed in with an oh dear uh, da, 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 another fp screw Okay, right, we've done that now. And now what it's wanting us to do is we need to make some electrical connections. So, flipping this over, because it's going to be okay flipped over. The first one it wants is number 16, which I do believe is this coming from whatever. And it wants us to plug it into 16 on the circuit board. So number 14, 15, 16. Okay, that's plugged in. Uh, 16. Next it wants 15. That's 15. And it wants us to plug that into the circuit board. Uh, 15 it is awkward trying to get around all these all the wires that are already in place okay that's 15 in right so this is where my thing differs a little bit from you <laughs> normally you would have this coming up through from the interior now because I'm do I've put in the switch mod I have obviously this surplus, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it in anyway because we can test it. So uh, let's have a look how this goes in. So there's an F and an R on it, so you can line it up properly. So that's the F and R in. Right, so. Now it wants us to move back onto the interior again and the pipe that we put in right at the beginning just down here wants put it into a hole next to the fire extinguisher. You know what, I don't know where I'd be without tweezers. Especially on this. Right, that's not wanting to go in, it's a tight fit again like it was on the upside. I'm just trying to get it in a bit so I can get some... Ew, gosh, that don't want to go in. Okay, that's not wanting to go in and I don't know why. No, that's definitely not wanting to go in. Uh, try and find a solution, a quick solution. Um, just try and maybe file a bit out of the hole it's going into. Right, see if that's helped in any way. Shape our life form. It has sort of helped. Right, that's in as far as I can get that. Right, so next we're moving on to the wires that are coming either and out of any direction here. So now we've got that in. The next one it wants us to plug in from the um next to the hairdryer and we've got a few of these let's try and figure out which ones are which uh right okay okay and so i think there's four all together okay let's get the fourth one we haven't lost anything along the way, have we? Right, so the first one it wants us to put in 
is this one here with twisted ropes and that's going to go at the top just like that uh, the next one it wants to put in oh it says there's two twisted ones I've only got one twisted one so I don't know where it's coming up with or am I looking too far ahead probably I'm looking too far ahead or have I gone too far ahead yes I've gone too far ahead so that's my fault so we'll take that out right so first of all it wants the sort of these two here putting in the middle Right, that's one. You know what, I've done it wrong again. It wants this one first. I do apologise, guys. That's my mistake. Right, that one's in, and it's supposed to be in. Right, um, that one is completely come out of the detail down below. Oh, gosh. So, we won't worry about that one for now. Next, it wants the ones with the two smaller bits. It makes it so, yeah. I knew that come out of them pink bits. I really did. Right, okay, so the two smaller ones going next. I do know they fit because I've already fitted them. Put that one in a bit more. Get the next one fit under there. Quite a tight fit, but it'll do. Right, okay. Then it wants the rope one in the top. Right. Okay, I will wire tidy these later. Right, so next wants to move on to this side here. I'm going to make sure I do this right. Okay, so it wants the one with the larger hole, black one, into the bottom. Might need tweezers on that one. Yeah. Right, that's that one. Again, the next one is the... Um, is it the rope one? Yes, it's the rope one, the twisted rope. Probably called twisted wires, but at this stage in the build, I really couldn't care less. Okay, and then we want the two smaller ones at the top. One, two. Okay. Right, so moving on next. I will uh, tidy these wires up when I've done in the cab. It wants us to make more electrical connections. So the next one it wants us to do, excuse me a second while I just mop my brown is it wants part 19 putting in 19 right 19 19 19 where's 19 right hang on 19 right which one is 19 well, i have no 19 here Uh, let me just double check. Push the plug mark 19 into the corresponding 19 socket on the circuit board. Right, I've already got 19. Oh no. Right. Well, for one, I've got 17 in the wrong one. So 
Uh, let me just unplug 17. Put 17 in the correct one. But why haven't I got 19? Right, 19. What is 19? Is it something that's come out from the... In here... Should be a sort of bluey black cable. Well, I've got no other cables... Coming out... From here. So what is 19? Push the plug mark 19 into the corresponding socket on the circuit board. Hmm. Am I missing something here? That's not that one. What is 19? Nineteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. Can't have affected any of the mods. Nineteen. Nineteen on the car. Is that why? Right? right. So why a nineteen is actually on the car, but it hasn't said to bring the car over and put it on. So that's why it's got confusing. So when I, I'll go get the car and we'll finish this off. Back in two secs. Okay, so gosh, long time since we've seen this. The uh, chassis of the car. So yeah, right. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to somehow balance the interior and try and get these connections in. That's going to be difficult. Okay, so the first one it's wanting in is number 19, which is not that one, not that one, not that one. Move that out of the way. Number 99, nearly there. 22, 8. But where is number 19? Twenty-three, ten. Come on, where is number nineteen? Got to be on here somewhere. Ah, nineteen. There we go. Oh my word! How are you supposed? Right, I'm gonna have to try and bring this a bit better to me because this is gonna be fiddly as hell. Ugh. Right, uh, that's 19 in place. Uh, the next one it wants is 22. Uh, 22. Not 23. 22. Found it. So you might not be able to see what I'm doing here, guys, but... Whew. It's all the other wires that are in the way, that's the problem. I'm getting the right angle. To get it in. Right, I've just lost 22 again. 22, there we go.
22 is it in right so 19 22 next 23 Oh my word. That's 12. Move that out of the way again. 9. 12. 12. Let's see if we've got any other wires. So we've got... 8, 12, 9, I saw 23 and that's, uh, that's bugging me, is that, where's that gone? 9, 12, 8, 9, 12, 8, coming up from the main chassis, uh, We've got ah twenty three. So this is coming from the rear now. So oh gosh, right okay. Twenty three. It's easier said than done. This. Right, that's twenty three in. Uh, next it wants is number six. Now I'm just actually yes, number six, and that's a white and black one. Right, so I've got number six. But you don't want to mistake a number six with a number nine. How the heck are you supposed to access that bottom bit of the circuit board? Um, <laughs> wouldn't it have made sense to put these in first probably so I'm going to count the wires as I go in one number six so we should have a gap and that's where number six goes into Very, very, very tight. I give myself a bit more wire. Right, that's number six in place. Oh, oh, that got it the wrong way around. Damn it. Really sure when putting your wires in, you put them the right way around. Right, that's number six in place. I, goodness knows how I'm going to do the rest. So we've done number six. Next is number eight. We have a colour for number eight so I can easily identify. Blue and white. Blue and white. No, that's a number nine. Oh, no, sorry, it, it wants nine in place. We've already got eight in place. Making it harder for myself here. <sighs> I mean, we've got a point. Right, the problem is here is there's very, very limited room. Very, very limited room. Right, I can, right let's work this out. Uh, right, so we want number nine, which is a blue and white. Okay. Blue and white. Blue and white, blue and white, blue and white. 
Right, yeah, I've got it. Blue and white. Right, I think that's the players, but I'll pull one of the right, okay. Right, okay. Tables are everywhere. Right, so now he's put in, and then we need to do, well, we need to do 10, 11, and 12. Oh, gosh. Okay. Right. This is a jungle. Okay, so let's find number 10. Why is it number 8 in? There must be a reason why number 8's not in. 8, did we put 8? Yeah, we put 8 in. Definitely put 8. Oh my word, what am I doing? 8. Why is it number? Right, hang on. Number nine's in place. Right, guys, I'm going to have to uh, just stop and try and figure this one out. So, back soon. Okay guys, I'm back. Oh gosh, that was a nightmare. That has to be one of the hardest circuit boards I've ever, ever had to wire up. I've got to admit that, hands down, one of the hardest. Right, everything's in now, apart from the power, which we've got a minus and a negative. Obviously the uh, minus matches up with the minus and the negative matches up with the negative. Okay, right, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to plug back in the uh, this. So let's have a look where it went. Uh, we had an R and an F, didn't we? R and F match up. Okay, right, so that's it in. Next, what we need to do is we need to get this onto here, making sure that we don't trap it any of these wires here. And try and connect this all up. But we have to engage the steering as well. Uh, let's just make sure that the steering um, is on, which it's not. Right, hold on. Right, so something's stopping it from going down. What is stopping it? Probably a multitude of wires, really. Uh, right, okay. Let's... Uh, Hang 
know what it is. It's a couple of mod wires. The plastic. That one there. And that one there. I'll just make sure I engage this steering rod. Again, I'm not getting positive connection here. You mean it's rocking? Ah, right. Put the end of the steering column into the hot. Right, okay. Right, mine's not going fully down. Well, there has to be a reason. Oh, right, I've locked in the steering. No, I thought I had. Right, no, I haven't. Uh, right. Let's uh, try and figure this one out. Right, I think that's them, but it's still rocking. I don't like the idea of it. So I'm going to be back in a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Whew, wow, what an issue. Right, I've managed to get it down now. It's still rocking a bit, but it's not as bad as it was. Right, so I've engaged the steering, but the next thing we need to do is we need to screw this down with some dm screws now this could be harder than i think it could be so first dm screw is down here if it'll go in i'm not going to use the wild stick for this one because i'm just gonna try and get this in That gone in? No, that has not gone in. Right, that one doesn't seem to be lining up, so I'll try the other one. That's at the front, which is a DM. See if we have any luck with that. This is going to be quite tricky because it's right in an awkward place in the vehicle. Oh, now I do feel that sort of locking itself in. No, it hasn't done either. Yeah, beggars. Right. Shall we try the other side and see if we can get them in? If not, I'm going to have to realign this thing. DM screw. I've just pulled it back a little bit just to see if it's... If it's just because it's not aligned properly. So I think I've got it aligned. Oh, that feels good. Right, so it wasn't aligned properly. That's our problem. Gosh, this is getting heavy. If 
by moving it up back a bit. Now it's still not aligned on this side. Right, let's try that. Right, I can see the hole. Oh, God. I can see it. I just need to get to it. I do believe that's going in. Oh, gosh. Try this one down here. No, I've not got that. It's not having it. Neither. Try and get the screw out. All section here just needs a lot of moving back a couple of centi uh, millimeters, I would say. These wires don't help that are in the way. Well, that feels pretty good. Oh, that's gone in that side. Fantastic. Oh, that saved the day. You really have to push down on your screwdriver to get that one in. Well, that one's in. Right, other side we did get one in, so we're not fighting a losing battle but they are tough screws oh right the next is in a bit down here this one's going in as well just for Quite a bit of foresight. Right, steering still a bit iffy. Let's see if we can solve that. Okay, right. Last thing to do. <laughs> Oh, I fought a battle and hopefully I've won. Is we've got this little uh, bracket to hold that steering rod in place. Um, I have to go into some right position. Okay. Oh great, it wants to go up under that white one. Right. Okay, that does make it a little bit more challenging, but uh, it is what it is. I think. Don't know. I'm 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 just clutching at straws here. Right, so double check, I'm just making sure everything is correct because I can't understand why people didn't return. Back to this issue, and I think I just figured out why. Because it's a pig of an issue to do. Okay, that's in place. And then we just need to screw that bracket in with some BM screws. Yes, BM screws. 
I don't even know what time of day it is. Oh. I'm fully tightened. Oh, thank goodness for that. Ah, oh, right. Now the fun. We can test the electric. So if I try and get it to there, can I go for the other camera? Okay, right, so let's uh, turn off the main light. Let's switch it on wherever the battery box is. It's underneath there. Okay, we're powered. So we'll try the first one. Has that actually done anything? Nope. Right, hang on. Was it already powered on? Ah, there we go. There we have the 88. There we have the time circuits and the light box and Christmas tree, which is behind here, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got everything else like that switched on. So if I just turn it around, there you can see them in place. Again, the Christmas tree is not very bright. I will say that, that is abysmal. To tell you the truth, but uh, all the electrics are working and that makes me very, very, very happy. And I can now say that issue 59 is complete. Right, well, that's it for issue uh, 59 of the DeLorean. That has to be one of the hardest rewires I've had to do onto a circuit board. I mean, I've done the R2-D2, uh, the Ecto-1, the X-Wing, the Millennium Falcon, other models, and that has to be the hardest one yet to wire onto a circuit board. That was very, very tight, very, very in, and then lining the uh, interior up with the chassis that were a complete nightmare as well. But I'm happy it's in and we have got issue 59 done. Got a couple of things I need to do on it. I want to do a little bit of wire tidy um, with them interior wires that we've sorted out today. But yeah, I'm a very, very happy person that that one's done. Um, so like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, there's a lot of the mods now I can get on with um, for this model. So I've got like the flux capacitor, the Christmas tree, the remote, the power, the conduit set. All them are going to be done, uh, hopefully, in the next few days. So, um, yeah, I can't wait for this one. It's going to look really, really great. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.